Viewer discretion is advised. Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to take a look at another back gun review for you guys. And this one I have here is one from the Evolution lines. And I got it from a good clearance price if you guys already seen the haul video. So if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about this. The Bakugan Evolutions Pyrus Platinum Dragonoid. I got this at Target months ago and a good clearance price of $3. And here it is, $2.99, so $3. Before I continue on, you guys do me a little bit of a quick favor, so I'll be right back. Before this video starts, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, subscribe to my gaming channel, go to my Instagram to buy something on my Steam, and enjoy the video. Make sure you follow me every social media I have, link in the description down below, and become a Patreon supporter, link in the description down below. Now, if you guys already seen the last video, what I did, go ahead and check it out, and if you guys haven't, go to the information symbol on the top right, or wait until the end of the video. So, like I said, I got it in Target, and this is the only thing I can find, unfortunately, so, yeah, that kind of sucks. Now, of course, for the Platinum series, it have diecast metal. And there's a repaint version, a repaint version of that one, which is a Walmart exclusive, which I think I'm planning to buy it at some point in the future because there's two comparison between this version I have here with me and the platinum version. So, anyways, so here's what the front of the packaging what it looks like, and here's the back of the packaging what it looks like: two cores, one gate card, and one character card. So yeah, and of course that will be it. Anyway, it's gonna go pause the video, open it up, and show you guys what stuff that comes with. And yeah, let's begin with the review. So I got everything out, and of course. For the evolution light that comes with the checklist, which I did show off on my Platinum Diamond Co uh, Diamond Platinum Colossus review, and yeah, the only thing, one thing I'm admit, I want to find is the Prisma Dragonoid and all the other Geogon combiners right down here. So yeah, it's not much I would say. It's just the same thing. So yeah, it's not for, it's not for the checklist because really don't care about it. It's just the same shit over and over and over again, and I need to scratch my back. I do apologize for that. Anyways, so it comes with two cores, which is a green fist and a helix. So for the helix, 300 plus 300 beats plus 3 damage. And for green fist, plus 150 beats plus 2 damage. So that's actually pretty cool. Alright, the gate. Now we we'll focus on the card. And the card that Dragonoid comes with is a gate card. We have Chaos Finica right here. For Pyrus, Zero, uh, Aquas, uh, 300, Ventus 100, 500 for Ventus, I mean, hey, uh, hey, us, 200 for Arlis, and 400 for Darkest, and I have the Helix symbol right here, so yeah. And here it is, the Platinum Dragonoid. I think I already have that card. I'm gonna have to check my collection. If I don't, well, this is the one I got, so yeah. Uh, Green Fist and a Helix. Uh, 500 bees plus one damage. If you land on a helix or a green face, you get plus a thousand bees. So that's actually pretty cool, but the damage just kind of sucks, unfortunately. Now, the mold that you guys can see on the Prisma, I mean, not Prisma, the on uh, Dragonoid is the Geogun Rising version. So, yeah. But if you guys are new collecting for Bakugan, they're using the same mold of again and again and again for evolutions, like. This one from Geogun Rising, so yeah. And he does have some manual parts, which is the arms, which is so stiff to take them out. And I get the feeling like any time it will be breaking anytime soon, so I've got to be very careful with it. So here it is, Dragon and what he looks like. Now this part right here and this part is made of a die-cast metal, and it has a nice weight to it, and I like it a lot. Translucent red right here with some, this goldish yellowish and this maroon color right here. And this the flame and the detail right there looks great. And right over here, it looks absolutely amazing. You do have some back of gear ports, one here, one here, and one over here. And that's actually pretty nice. The, the B power is right over here, and the wings 500 B, so it's actually pretty nice. Gotta put it, you know, I'm gonna put this, push this back because it is, because I need to do, you know, closing it up, so yeah. Um, there's not much of it to talk about it is which... Pretty nice. I actually like it a lot. Now closing them up is pretty easy. Fold the feet down. Bring the head down. Bring the whole body in. Bring the wings in. And I forgot to mention, bring the tail up. And then you bring the wings in. So yeah, there we go. 
Ball form, on the other hand, looks pretty amazing because of the fine detailing right there. You do have the pirate symbol painted in, in yellow and pretty nice. And pretty sturdy too on like it's weight so much. I wish I had something you know to weight in, but I don't have it with me unfortunately. So yeah. This is gonna be a quick review because we already know about it. So yeah. Arrow is pointing uh where is the arrow pointing this way? So three two one Oh sorry, I almost bar uh not bar uh burp. So I have three two one back on bro. I miss I miss there we go. So that's actually pretty cool. Let's do it one more time, then we can do the final results. So yeah. I actually do love the Platinum uh, Platinum series. And this is the first this is not the first time that uh Spin Master did what deal with Diecast Metal for Backcon. If you guys remember Metanium Surge, which I love Metanium Surge, it's one of my favorite series. Most people saying but i I think most people saying Metanium Surge sucks. Well you suck. But anyways. So yeah, that's actually pretty cool. So let's bring all the content here for you guys. So yes. Bring the camera down a little bit more. And let's bring the course in. So overall, this is actually pretty cool. This is part of the Wave 1 line, so yeah. Uh, I'm going to end this right here, so have fun, stay safe, and I'm always, I'm out.